Hi everyone, welcome to today's math class. Today we have a challenge before us here. It's a Russia math only paired problem. Okay, and the question was actually dropped by one of my uh, subscribers and he said I should look into this challenge. And the question reads x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 equal to xy plus 6 to 1. We are asked to find the positive integer values of x and y that will satisfy this equation. So if you knew yet, this is online math TV where we solve mathematics all the time. If you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that notification button so that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. Okay. So the first thing we do here is to take a solution to this question. All right. Sorry, most of my subscribers have actually complained about my handwriting. And I, I, I promise you I'm working on my handwriting, okay? I will do as much as possible to make that to be legible. Okay, so we put down the question. So we have here x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3. Okay, this is 3, please. They equal to our x, y plus 61. This is 6 and 1. Okay, now we are going to make use of our algebraic identity. We know that from our uh, set of algebraic identity, we know that if we have a to the power of 3, then minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b, close bracket, bracket, our a squared plus our a b plus b squared. Okay, close bracket. We all know this, right? Okay, so we're going to make use of this. The left-hand side can be written in this format because it's written in this form. Okay, so writing it in this format, this now implies that our bracket x minus y close bracket, bracket x squared there plus our x, y there plus our y squared close bracket everything equal to our x y plus 61 this is 6 1 okay let's look at this carefully now so what do we do next here now we can bring this and this together so writing this this one now give us here your x minus y close bracket bracket x squared there plus our y squared okay there plus our x y close bracket everything equal to x y plus 61 okay so in fact let me write this y very well okay all right now let's look at this carefully if we look at this carefully I can put these two in brackets here, okay? So if I bracket this out, then I use this to open this. What would this give us? In other words, if I, I want to rewrite this now, I want to separate this from the entire work we have here now. So we're going to have this to be your x minus y close bracket. I'm going to introduce a square bracket, bracket x squared plus our y squared close bracket there plus x y close bracket sorry yeah we have the square bracket please okay so let's use the square bracket here all right let me erase this very well so that you don't get confused equal to x y plus 61 now what is the essence of doing this i want to use this to open this i could also use a different approach by bringing another algebraic identity from here Okay, but look at the approach I want to use here now. I want to use this to open up this and this. So if I use this to open up this, I'm going to end up having x minus y close bracket into x squared plus y squared close bracket. I will equally use this to open up this, to multiply this rather. So I have here plus my x, y um, into your 
x minus y close bracket equal to x y plus 61 this is six place ah it's like i'll go to the kindergarten to learn how to write six very well now let's look at this again now with what we have here now i did something special here yeah we are having this everything equal to this we can do comparison here so let's compare the coefficients of this to that of this so this is the coefficient to this then the coefficient here is one so by comparing coefficient here and here we are going to have this to be x minus one is equal to one okay what i did i compare this coefficient and this so if I do this, then we're going to have x minus 1 is equal to 1. So let's take this as equation 2. Let's take this as our equation 1. So this is our equation 2. From our equation 2, what we do here now, then the whole of this expression now becomes what? So let's continue on this side of the bird. Okay, so from this assumption, then the whole of our expression now becomes our x minus y plus bracket into our x squared plus y squared equal to 61. Easy. Any confusion? <laughs> no. So let's forge ahead here now. Now, with what we have in here now, I want to make y the subject of the formula here and put that into this expression i have in here and also here so i cannot say from equation one sorry from equation two from equation two i have our y will now be equal to x right x minus one minus one so let's call this equation three so we can put equation three into this expression we have here now. So let's go ahead and do that. So this will now give us our x, then minus, what is our y? Our y is this, so we have here x, let's put it in bracket, minus one, close bracket. So we are using the square bracket here, please. All right, then into this. Same thing, we're going to use the square bracket here. So we have our x square, same thing here we have plus bracket x minus one close bracket all squared into our square bracket equal to 61 easy okay so what do we do from here now if we use this to open up this we're going to have here to be bracket x minus x the plus one close back bracket the open this bracket again we have here x squared plus if we open up this, in other words, if we use this to multiply itself, we're going to have come up here with our x squared, then um, minus 2x, then plus 1. Everything equal to 61. I believe there's no confusion here. All right, so this, this will leave the system. So on this bracket, we have 1. So one time, this will still give us this. So we're having this to be 2 here, so we're going to have this 2x to the power of 2. Then here we have minus 2x plus 1 equal to 61. Move this to this because we're having a quadratic equation. So I'm going to solve quadratically here. So move this to this side. We're going to have here 2x to the power of 2 minus 2x plus 1 minus 61. 1 equal to 0. So this ends of giving us 2x squared minus 2x minus 60 equal to 0. We can divide through by 2. 2 is common to everything. So if we divide through, this will end up giving us x squared minus x minus 30 equal to 0. So we can solve this quadratically for x. So what we do here, yeah, the coefficient here of x squared is just 1. So this is unity. What we do, we bring out this factor and um, this constant term and look for all the factors of 30. Pick two from there that when we add together, we give us 
minus 1, multiply together will give us minus 30. And that will give us um, plus 5 minus 6. So here we're not going to have it to be x squared plus 5x there, um, minus 6x minus 30 equal to 0. We cannot put this in bracket, put this in bracket, put this in bracket, put this in bracket, and factor out what is common to both sides. So what is common here is uh, x. So x here we are left with x plus 5. Then here what is common is 6. There's 6 here we have x minus times minus gives us plus, and here we have 5 equal to 0. We take this now, so this now implies our x plus 5. 5, close bracket, the bracket, this, this, x, minus 6, everything equal to 0. So here we apply the zero product rule, okay? So apply the zero product rule, we take this, we equate this to 0, we equally equate this to 0, okay? So let's continue on this side of the board to get the extra value of x. Mind you, we are looking for the positive. This now implies that our x plus 5 equal to 0 or x minus 6 equal to 0. So we have x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to 6 positive. So x cannot be minus 5 according to this condition here. We are looking for the positive integer. All right. So therefore, we're going to have our s. Therefore, our x is equal to 6. Okay. So we've gotten the value for our x. Now we just have to look for our y. And also we are looking for the positive value of our y. Now we have to recall one of the equations where we made y the subject of the formula. So let's look at this from equation 3. Okay? So we cannot say from equation 3. From equation 3 we have our y is equal to x then minus 1. So this now implies our x is 6 minus 1. So, therefore, our y is equal to 5. <laughs> Again, we don't have to look for um, y2 because this is y1. We don't have to look for y2 because definitely y2 will give us negative and we are not for that. Okay, so our y here is equal to 5. So, we cannot conclude by saying that, therefore, our x comma y will be equal to we have six comma five. Okay, let me write my five well so that many will not complain of my handwriting. Okay, now so these are the positive values of x and y that will satisfy this equation, this Russian math only pair problem. Again, now I want to roll a little shake because in one of my um, uh, video, one of these comments was, why did it I shake to see if the thing actually satisfy the um, uh, question, okay? So let's just do a little shake on this uh, result, okay? On this two root here now. So let's wipe off this side of the board and do our shake. So here we're going to have your C's to the power of three minus five to the power of three equal to six times 5 plus our 61. 6 to the power of 3, that will give us 6 times 6, which is 36, times 6, which is 216. So we have 216 minus 5 times 5 will give us 25 times another 5, that will give us 125. So 125 equal to 6 times 5 will give us 30, the plus 61. So we can subtract this from this. 5 from 6 will give us 1. The 2 from 1 cannot move 1 here to give you 11. So 2 from 11 gives us 9. Then 1 from 1 gives us 0. This is equal to, yeah, 1 plus 0 will give us 1. 3 plus 6 will give us 9. So we now have 9 to 1 is equal to 9 to 1. So this confirms that the root here, x, y, 6 and 5, satisfy our Russia Math Olympiad problem. All right.
So this marks the end to this wonderful Russia math only pair problem. There are other process or other approaches we can apply in solving um, uh, this challenge. Okay. So if you learn something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up, or you are not playing one of these steps. Okay, in the process of explanation, you have any question, then drop it in the comment section. We are always there now to respond to all comments. And again, I want to believe I've responded to almost all questions drops in the comment section. The ones I've not touched, I'm going to uh, touch them. A big thank you to uh, my viewer, my subscriber who dropped this question. Okay, thanks for dropping this challenge. Okay, it has also helped in uh, building up our uh, knowledge as far as math Olipesh problems are concerned. Remember, this is all I must TV, and guess what? I love you. And every one of us at All I Must TV loves you dearly. Thanks again. Bye for now.